Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior and this is Invisible Ink. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just go through all the characters. Um, they do have some dialogue and fancy things to say, and I'll read some of their stuff, and uh, we'll pick a team. I've already picked my powers, so I'm gonna pick Fusion and Rapier. Um, I keep- I misread Rapier, I thought it was based off the, the strength of the firewalls, it's actually based off the alarm level. Which means at, you know, alarm level 1 it's gonna start getting more and more expensive, so... It's definitely a power that kind of relies on you to kind of go through things quickly, but uh, I don't mind it. I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, I was kind of tempted to do Parasite, but I think I'll do Rapier first and see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly go through these. Shalem is good at covering his tracks. I don't usually employ people I don't understand, but his skill set was too useful to pass up. He's obviously using us as a means to some personal end. We'll see who shows their hand first. All right, Raymond Shalem Eleven Malik. Uh, Shalem was a licensed assassin with a perfect record and an ego to match. He specialized as a sharpshooter and would track a target for months, patiently waiting for the perfect shot. Even with the brain damage, Banks is one of the most effective hackers I've ever encountered. With stims and neuroconditioning, she's able to stay lucid. But I wonder what kind of long-term effects that might have on our stability. Jolly Banks Murphy. Banks uh, earned her hacker nickname, siphoning funds from heavily guarded financial accounts. She funneled the proceeds into the rebuilding of her hometown, becoming a local folk hero in the process. Tony Zhu's academic papers may as well be in binary to me. I've been told by very clever people that they're very impressive, but I'm more impressed in practical results. He plays the absent-minded professor character well, but when push comes to shove, he knows exactly what the score is. Dr. Z Tony Zhu. Dr. Tony Zhu was a brilliant researcher who rose to prominence at the U University of Hong Kong. Hong Kong, sorry. He was caught after one too many explorer exploratory trips into the K and O server and spent time in a detention center. As a result, Muratova is a deadly weapon in human form. One would think that such an aggressive style would be a liability, but she makes it work. Just try not to make any sudden moves in her peripheral vision if you want your arms to remain in their sockets. Nika Muratova. Muratova served as a bodyguard to the head of the most powerful oil company in Russia. A hostile takeover attempt led to an extended melee during which she neutralized two dozen would-be assassins. My name is Olivia Gladstone. I ran the Pan-Euro InfoSec Agency back when sovereign governments were still in fashion. After the war, I founded Invisible Inc., a freelance intelligence agency. We may work for the corpse, but only to serve our own ends. We've been gathering intelligence for years, waiting for the opportunity to bring the whole machine crashing down. Unfortunately, they found us first. Olivia Gladstone was the highest ranking officer in the Pan-Euro InfoSec agency before it collapsed at the end of the resource wars. Forced into hiding, she re-emerged as the founder and leader of Invisible Inc. She currently holds the record for the highest total corporate bounty ever offered for a single target. Derek was a promising young recruit in the PEIA when the resource wars broke out in the 50s. He was my chief information officer during the height of the conflict, and his elite hacking skills have pulled more than a few missions out of the dustbin. When the war ended, the price on his head forced him underground. I'd been buying intelligence from Monster for ages before realizing that it was Derek. And also note that they start with additional stats. They start with actually two, uh, three in Anarchy, and Monster starts with a three in Hacking. I'll go ahead and turn off the mute. And let's see, Derek Monster Mossman uh, learned his trade in the hard learned the, his trade the hard way, running petty infographs as an orphan in post-industrial Manchester. Seeking access to the latest technologies, he wiped his own record and enlisted with the pan Euro InfoSec Agency. He rose quickly through the ranks, joining the elite infiltration group run by Olivia Gladstone. Records after the war in, uh, war's end are spotty at best. Alright. Also, I kind of missed uh, some of the extra data stuff. I didn't realize there was actually a next for this. Anyway, for Shalem, there is... Um, in, enjoying almost celebrity status, he was able to finance a lavish lifestyle from his contracts. Why he, why he turned away from a life of fame and riches to work for Invisible is an open question. For 
banks. After a botched cranial implant, she joined Invisible to get access to the most advanced neural re rehabilitative care outside of corporate law. Zoo. Too much of a liability for any self-respecting university, Zhu was unemployed upon release. He joined Invisible to gain personal protection while continuing his research. Uh, she relented after her employer died of a flashbang-induced heart attack. Not much of, her, of a conversationalist, Maratova prefers to let her, her actions do the talking. Alright. Yep, that's it. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Uh, who are we going to take? So Banks has the ability to unlock security doors, which is pretty amazing. She can also disable things for free. The biggest issue is the fact... Oh, they actually... She starts with some stats. She starts with Anarchy. It's Dr. Zoo doesn't start with anything. So we can take Binks and, Banks and Nika and see how things go. Though, to be honest, I'd really rather have a national international. Wireless emitter is super good, and I honestly can't go without it, <laughs> to be honest. So, let's go international and banks. We'll just ha have one new character. Um, yeah, with our ability to lock down things and unlock doors, that's pretty... I think that'll be pretty good for them. So let's begin. Okay, it just immediately goes to day one. We're in a tight spot. The last few missions drained our accounts almost entirely. We're barely afloat. If we don't turn things around soon, we'll have to close up shop. There's plenty of profit to be made out there if we're bold enough. I'm authorizing you to go off contract. Incognita is looking for corporate vulnerabilities. Exploit these, take whatever you can, and rebuild the firm. This company is my life's work. We've all bled for this. Don't disappoint me, Operator. Okay, so we have infinite time. And we're just going to start right there. Executive terminals have elevated security credentials. Compromise one. Off we go. Destination lock acquired. Corporate threshold ready. The wind will shake the barley. <laughs> I, okay. Well, that's that's that is a phrase you just said. So yeah, both these characters have eight movement. And it looks like we can kind of go in pretty much any direction. We're kind of in the center. All right. Okay. Go ahead and take. Oh, actually, first things first. Let's um, use this. That cost us five power, but we're okay. All right, and she can get to that door. Okay, we can get power from that. That's what we need to see. Yes, yes, I know all about that. We just got three power back. Get a buster chip. Can 
looking at Paralyzer, which is just like a custom one. In fact, it's exactly like it, except it requires less anarchy. Um, additional KO damage. Kind of useful, not really necessary. So far, we've seen no guards. Okay. That's something. Okay, disable that. All right, blazing through this. to go as quickly as possible. I already peeked so I can't run. Running. You're pretty much out of movement. Alright, nothing really to see there. So that's all taken care of. He is stationary. Okay. Get a lot more expensive to do this, but that's okay. Also, I forgot to use that ability. I should have been using that every time. Okay, not much to see there. That's going to cost two to pull that. That's okay. We'll make do. Anyway, we'll go right here. Get ourselves some power. Get this. Alright, we don't really need to worry about that right now. Let's, uh... I heard footsteps, but I don't know where it's coming from. Like someone's stuck. You found it. 
down the executive terminal. Hack it, and we can get out of here. All right, you're just gonna go back and forth. Not a big deal. Noticed you poking about and have changed up their patrols. Be careful on your way out. Duly noted. Looking around. Hmm, nothing. Looking around. Guess it was nothing. here <laughs> all right well let's go ahead and uh, deal with that I don't think there's anything worthwhile here. Oh, I lied. I'm a big liar. It's gonna get a lot exp pretty expensive to hack this. Let's hack it now. So the question is, is can I... Yeah, it's gonna make it go Lost up, him. that's fine. And go ambush mode. Okay, so we got that going. Um, I want you... Oh, go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and let you paralyze this. I should have done that sooner. And then I'm gonna have you run right here. Actually, I'm an idiot. That I should have rewound and just ran. Ah, eh, whatever. I should have kept her where she was. Well, really all we have left is that guy and that guard. 
which he's just a regular security guard, so we're fine. Definitely, speed is the key for upgrading your characters. Max speed just makes such a big difference. It's unbelievable. So I never looted this person, apparently. Sloppy. Okay, nothing of note. Just run. ready and I heard something bye bye Go ahead and loot that. Alright, good haul. Took a little while, but it was pretty a clean mission. Prove invaluable when planning our next move. Excellent work. Yay. We hacked everything. We didn't do all the consoles though, because we didn't need to. All right. Alright, uh, this embedded apparatus implements SLAM, simultaneous localization and mapping, to create an environment map of explored regions and automatically updates the data to the central servers. Converts this, the percentage of the map explored into some extra credits. I don't understand, I don't know how useful this is, but I will go for it. Uh, with Internationale's ability to hack cameras from a distance um, and through walls, um, exploring the entire map is pretty much a guarantee. So yeah, um, 
mean, granted, I, I technically don't need to do it on her, but why not? We'll, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put it on her. My usual guarantee terms apply. I guarantee that you're on your own if you break this. Okay, and then I can just be like that. Yes. Now she has it. Okay, um, besides that... I think it's, uh, it'll be definitely beneficial for us to get movement. Especially now that we're using rape here, because we need to cover ground as quickly as possible. We'll just buy that and call it good. All right. Getting some extra bodies would be good. So we'll head up this way. Uh, everything here is ranked two. This is a private corporate prison. Hopefully we can get a character to join us. Corporate firewall down. Alarm response expected. Lift high while you can, ye mighty, your reckoning will come. Okay. Well that's interesting, I guess. Alright, well let's go ahead and uh do what we do best. Start that. And then pretty much just hack everything that's around us. Like this. And then access this. Let's just access to that. And then we can just be like, okay, whatever. Do that. Do that. Um, that's a scanning amp that we need to take care of. It does have a daemon program on it. There's a guard right there. It's gonna control that way. Go ahead and turn on sprinting. Alright, and this will be our start for next time, it looks like. We can easily take out that guard. There's a key, there's a locked door there, which we can use banks to get through. Um, and if need be, we can pop this amp and see where things go from there. But I will go ahead and call this a, game, um, a video. I am the Depressed Hero, and this was Invisible Ink. See you guys later.